All right, let's dive right in. Today, we're going to talk about a book that might just change everything you think you know about success, potential, and what it even means to be smart. This is our explainer on Intelligence, the Great Lie by Roy J. Anderson. So let me ask you something right off the bat. Think about the most important test you ever took. Your SATs, maybe an IQ test. What if that whole thing, the score that might have opened or closed doors for you, what if it was all based on a lie? It's an idea we all kind of grew up with, right? From the time where kids were taught that how smart you are can be boiled down to a single number, a score that's supposed to tell the whole world who you are. And not just any number, but a fixed number, a permanent stamp that supposedly predicts your true potential for the rest of your life. But what if that entire idea is just flat out wrong? This is where we get into the heart of the book. It's time to pull back the curtain on what the author Roy J. Anderson calls the great lie. See, according to Roy Anderson, the system we've built around tests isn't just a little flawed. He argues it's a deliberate fraud, a system he says is built on manipulation and, get this, false data. And that explosive claim? Well, that's the central idea of his book, Intelligence, the Great Lie. He's making the case that the whole concept of intelligence testing is a massive deception. So what is the great lie exactly? Well, based on his 40 years of research, Anderson says it's the belief that intelligence is some static trait you're born with. He argues it's actually been used as a tool for more than a century and a half to create social hierarchies and keep people in their place. To really understand this, you have to look at the history. The book takes us on a journey to see how this all got started. And, well, it's a pretty dark story. And this is not some new problem. Nope. The book traces the origins of this system all the way back, uncovering a really long and troubling history spanning more than 150 years. This timeline from the book is just eye-opening. It argues intelligence testing didn't begin in some neutral scientific lab. Its roots lie in a way of trying to measure intelligence so that everyone would keep to their proper place in a Europe being torn apart by social revolutions in the mid-1800s. Scary, right? From there, it grew into the IQ and SAT tests we all know, tools that, as Anderson argues, were used to justify discrimination and build the system of inequality we're still dealing with today in a world facing dramatic social changes through AI. And you can really see the book's impact in reviews from readers. This one quote just nails it. Someone called it a deliberate, centuries-old strategy to control who rises and who stays in place. Wow, that perfectly captures the historical case being made. Okay, so if the history is that troubling, what about now? What are the real-world consequences? This next part of the book really digs into the actual human cost of our obsession with these scores. Here's where the book just lays it all out, plain and simple. You've got the claim that these scores measure your raw natural talent, but the reality, according to Anderson, is that these scores are actually way better at reflecting where you come from, your social status, your environment, your economic background, than they are at predicting your actual potential. So the big question is, why do they fail so badly? Well, according to the book, it's because they were never truly designed to measure potential in the first place. They were designed to divide people. They completely ignore the science of how our environment shapes our minds. And because of that, they end up fueling discrimination and literally blocking countless deserving people from real opportunities. But here's the good news. This book is not just about tearing something down. It's about building something better. It actually lays out a new vision for the future of education. And these ideas are getting some serious attention. Dean David Martin of Gallaudet University called it one of the most important books published this century. I mean, that tells you something about its potential to spark genuine change. And that's because Intelligence the Great Lie is so much more than an expose. Roy J. Anderson provides a practical, step-by-step -step blueprint for how we can transform our educational systems for the better. So, what does that blueprint look like? Here are the key steps. First, we have to expose the flaws in the system we have now, which is exactly what we've been talking about. Second, we need to enhance the learning environment, you know, actually accept that intelligence can grow. Third, we have to help students foster their own self-responsibility, and finally, and this is so critical for right now, we have to prepare them for a future dominated by AI, where the skills that matter are going to be completely different. And that brings us to the final big idea from this explainer. The book leaves us with this really powerful question to think about. If we just stopped measuring people all the time, 
if we moved past this whole system of labels and scores, what incredible things could they finally be free to go out and build? Intelligence, The Great Lie by Roy J. Anderson is available now on Amazon.